百度 also, I mean, changed their attitude about SEO quite a lot over the last few years. I mean, back to five years ago, Baidu is very anti-SEO. I mean, they don't want you to do any SEO. They just want you to spend on paid search. That's Baidu five years ago. But, I mean, you know, Google is have different attitude at least, right? Google has a metcast, has a team to talk to the industry. So Baidu only started to do this for in the last couple of years. So that's why we work some with them to develop their official SEO courses to educate the webmasters how to do it correctly rather than using some spam techniques. And also, Baidu started to put a sign here. I mean, on the right-hand side, is official sign from Baidu to say, if you search for SEO, these three letters, Baidu will keep this official sign says, SEO is a very important work. Please refer to Baidu official SEO guideline. Right? So this is something Baidu put on live a year ago. So it really shows the attitude about Baidu towards SEO. So SEO is definitely now an official thing for Baidu, and definitely you cannot ignore for any Chinese websites. Yeah, but in terms of SEO, Google and Baidu is far different, right? And we just, because we have limited time, so we just lay out a few key differences between Baidu and Google. So first is the algorithm change, right? We know Google in the last few years had the Panda started in 2011, right? And uh, Penguin started in 2012. And Baidu actually is following these steps. I mean, in the, actually the real big update for Baidu is since June last year. At that time, they didn't even have a name. We know Google has been doing this for long years, right? Every time they have a major upgrade, they have a code name. But Baidu didn't have that at all. Actually, the first, uh, major one was last year, June last year. It was still called, I mean, June 22nd event, something like that. But they start to have a proper name after that. But Baidu did have a few major updates since June last year, and about four or five of them. And it's, most of them is quite similar to Penguin and Panda. So Baidu on this algorithm updates is mostly following the Google steps, except social. So Google now have too many connections between I mean, search algorithm and social signals, but Baidu is really behind on social. But apart from social connections, Baidu, I mean, all the other algorithm change, like content, I mean, spamming, I mean, change, and also the link spamming algorithm, etc. So that's quite close to Google. Yeah, just Google is called everything around animals, right? Black and white animals, but Baidu is all about plants, the code name. Yeah, but the principles are similar. And also a few tips for, for Baidu's SEO. I mean, first one is Baidu's algorithm is usually updates every Thursday, right? There's small tips. If you do a change, you would better do, to do it on Monday or Tuesday to get Baidu index on Wednesday. So maybe you can see our results change on Thursday. So they do the algorithm updates or the I mean, indexation updates usually every Thursday. And also the new websites and pages take much longer to be indexed by Baidu than Google. If you have a new site, takes, for example, a week to be indexed by Google, and it may take a month to be indexed by Baidu. If you edit some new pages I mean, on, your, on your site, it takes a day to be indexed by Google, and it may take a week to be indexed by Baidu. So the, all the means the, the spider or the cooler of Baidu is still a little bit behind of Google. Yeah. And also the 301 really takes a long time. And when you want to change your I mean, URLs, right, 301, most of the time works for Google. It still works on Baidu, but takes much longer time. Usually it takes three months or six months or even longer for Baidu to recognize your 301. Uh, so in, that means you would better not change your URL as less as possible. I mean, that's still on Google as well, right? You don't really want to change your URL quite often, but for Baidu especially, I mean, you really don't want to change your URL that often unless it's really necessary. And also, you want to avoid long URL and too many parameters. The same as Google, right? You don't want to too dynamic URLs. But for Baidu, especially, I mean, Baidu's algorithm, most of the time, is, it doesn't cope well with the long URLs. And also, a few other, I mean, ranking tips. Long tail is important, right? Because for the search head terms, you got more paid listings. But long tail, it got more exposure for SEO. And also, Baidu products are important. We'll talk that a little bit more later. And CTR is important. 
so in the algorithm, I mean, formula CTR is, I mean, the click-through rate on the results page, that's very important for Baidu, or more important than on Baidu than Google. So you get better CTR, you get better rankings. And also backlinks are still important on Baidu, right? I mean, it's still good on Google, it's still important on Google, but it's more important on Baidu than Google now. So backlinks, or quality backlinks at least, is still very good on Baidu. Yeah, I mean, when we talk about the uh, Baidu products, right? So Baidu actually, they have lots of products by its own, right? Like Baidu Zhidao, which is Q&A, Baidu Baike, which is Wikipedia, and also Baidu Tieba, Baidu Image Search, Baidu, et cetera, right? So this kind of products owned by Baidu, which is mostly Google doesn't have many of them, right? So Google doesn't have Wikipedia, Google doesn't have a Q and A, I think. Yeah, but Baidu did many of these kind of content products, and they do occupy lots of search result page space, like the Baidu Zhidao, Baidu Baike, and Baidu Tieba. So they are owned by Baidu. They are popular, and they got lots of traffic on Baidu search result page. So in other words, in order to get more traffic from Baidu, you do want to appear on these platforms and then appear on Baidu search results page instead. Yeah. And we can see one example here. If you search for the keyword smartphone in China on Baidu, you can get this page. The first one is Baidu Baike results. Second one is Baidu open platform. The fourth one is Baidu image search. And the, I mean, the sixth one is Baidu news. And this one is Baidu Tieba, right? So six out of eight search results are from Baidu's own products. So in order to attract traffic from terms like this, apart from your own websites, you do want to utilize Baidu's platform quite a lot in order to get your traffic or exposure. Yeah, and also Baidu has an open platform, which is, I mean, uh, based on APIs, right? And they have job search, job, I mean, product search, travel search, et cetera. So if you can be one of the partners for this industry, you can get huge traffic from Baidu, right? But I mean, that's not easy, of course. Yeah, and also we mentioned Baidu, CTRs are very important. So if you get a better CTR on your search results, you will get a better rankings. And here is a general search result we got from Baidu. Right? For example, this one. I mean, it's almost similar to Google's one with the tit page title, with the descriptions, with URL, with the date of the page being indexed. Yeah. But I mean, here, for the icon, if you can get your icon here, I mean, some of them don't have. If you do have the icon showed up, that will help with the CTR. And also, if you have this sign, it's little blue way. It means the safety verification sign which is authorized by Baidu, right? So if you can have this one displayed, it helps with the CTR as well. And also, if you can have the Baidu share, right? And how many people have shared your links? So if this one shows up, it also will help with your CTR. I mean, so apart from the usual page title description optimization skills, if you can get this up on Baidu's search results page, will help your CTR in order to help your page rankings. Yeah, and also another difference is, I mean, if you search for something, Google has this kind of settings, right, to group everything together. But Baidu doesn't have settings. But Baidu is coped well with subdomains. So for example, for this website, so they can have multiple websites, right, multiple subdomains appear on the first page. So it all belongs to this website with different subdomains, right? So if you do it well, like, it's one of our clients, they occupy three, the top three pages, all with their own subdomains, right? So that may not be achievable on Google, but it's achievable on Baidu, right? So the attitude about subdomain from Baidu is different from Google. Yeah, and also on Baidu, you want to be careful of your keywords. That's not only on Baidu, but China in general, right? Because of government censorship, so you really want to be careful of your keywords not only do the keyword search, as you will do on Google as well, right, to choose the right keyword, but in addition, in China, some sensitive keywords you really want to avoid, like the name of the president, the chairman, right, the name of the government's I mean, officials, etc. Right? And this is an example from one of my friends, and he was selling jasmine tea on his own website. It's not a big website, but good enough to support his 
his own shops, and he just optimized for a few keywords like Jasmine teas, and he's good enough to rely this on, I mean, have the basic living cost. But there was a couple of years ago, a few years ago, China has this kind of event called Jasmine some event. I don't know if you heard or not, but during that time, the Chinese government banned everything associated with Jasmine, right? And his website, they send Jasmine tea, right? So it's accidentally affected. So during that six months time, I mean, he got no, not only talking about traffic, has no appearance at all when people search for Jasmine. Of course, his website cannot show up. Right? So you really want to be careful about the keywords you use in China because of the government censorship. Yeah, and also, user experiences is different from Chinese as well, right? So when we're talking about user experiences, it doesn't matter good or bad, ugly or beautiful, right? It's more matter about how the customers like in China. So this is the, I mean, C-Trip and Yilong, the right? two most popular OTA, biggest OTA in China. They all look like this. I mean, it doesn't matter it's good or bad in your, in your opinion, right? But it's what Chinese people like. I mean, I always have this classic example is like Tmall and JD dot Jingdong, right? The most of the biggest e-commerce websites, they carry this kind of layout for their page. They have the image on the left, the, the product title, the price, and the buy now buttons, right? Buy now and add to cart. But when Amazon China, they came to China, Right, Amazon came to China long years, many years ago, and they carry this layout the same as the U.S. one, right? And because they were one of our clients, we did a lot of search. We found out, I mean, many people dropped off this page, right? So many this their I mean product page has a very high bounce rate, um, exactly much higher than other on e-commerce platform in China. So the one of the key reasons is they put the banner button on the far right, same as Amazon U.S. And many Chinese customers, they said they couldn't find the banner button at all. Because they get used to the banner button in the middle. There's a click here to buy, right? But Amazon has it on the right, and they just cannot see it. So that's why the Amazon have this very high bounce rate from, their, from this page than others. But they still keep it like this. But Amazon, they want to be considered over the world, right? I mean, personally, I don't think this is a good strategy. But I mean, the principle behind this is you really want to change your page or layout to fit the Chinese customer's taste. 